Timberwolf Mountain has welcomed us with zero bears. Well, I take that back. There was one bear. We saw him in the distance, but not really a threatening bear. Zero threatening bears, two dead wolves, <laughs> dead wolves, qualifying statement, a free hacksaw, and a lot of food, and a lot of clothes that I didn't pick up. Still no ammo. Next stop, and I actually mean it this time, Ash Canyon. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against a Lot series. Where we appear to be. Seeing some not so great weather. Now, I'm noticing that <laughs> I've become significantly more encumbered since picking up all that food. I want to try and make it to the open air cave just ahead here. There should be enough wood for a fire there. So even if the weather gets bad here, I think I will be good with what I've got. I do have one climb coming up that is kind of unavoidable. And that climb is a little bit tougher to do a two-stage climb than the climb up into Timberwolf Mountain. So that's unfortunate, but we're just going to make do with what we've got. dead demon. Hmm. Okay, seems like this is about to become a full flight. Yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking. So, yep. 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 Okay. Now we definitely need to get inside the open air cave. I'm glad I came up here when I did. How's my clothing condition, by the way? I haven't looked at this in a bit. Oh, it's fine. Looks like my gloves need a little bit of love. I'm surprised I haven't found any gauntlets yet. I probably will find some here. As I was saying last episode, one of the things that's very likely to happen is that um, by the time we leave Timberwolf Mountain, having fully scavenged Ash Canyon and Timberwolf Mountain, I think we will have found everything that we kind of need to find clothing-wise. I am surprised that I don't have, like, mucklucks yet, that I don't have gauntlets, but hopefully I'll find some before long. Come to think of it, there are, like, three separate clothing items that I still want to find. Alright, so we are, thankfully, not too terribly cold in here. The wind is completely blocked. Let's go ahead and pick up... Um, oh, look. Another improvised knife just being given to us. Some pinnacle peaches. Alright, so we have some reading that we can do here. A couple things. Let's go ahead and take the charcoal, because we haven't had too much of that stuff. Start the fire. Come on, little fire. This is always a completely safe sheltering spot, even though it's out in the open. So as long as you're able to oh, yeah. That's good. get the fire going and warm up, it's pretty awesome. All right, so let's do a couple of things here. I want to have this one set aside for water. And then this one, I want to cook. Oh, actually, oh, wow. Really? Really? All right, well, in that case, tell you what. Let's go ahead and just eat the pinnacle peaches. Apparently, I don't have that much water, which is fine. I have lots of tea that I can make. Cannot map and low visit. It. Yeah, I'm not trying to map. I didn't realize I was still holding the charcoal. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eat those. Now we're warming up. That's nice couple things. I can definitely... Alright, we got 25 minutes until that's melted. Thankfully, there's something I can do. There's a lot that I can do, actually. Alright, so this is a fur limb. It'll take 45 minutes to chop up. Let's go ahead and do that. This fire should last us as long as we need it to. I'm going to go ahead and grab that torch because it's 
Torches that are dropped in the world are always 100% condition torches. Well, maybe not always, but most of the time. All right, let's go ahead and drink that water. And we're still going to go ahead, I think because I want to cook as much tea as I can here. How we doing? All right. Yeah, this will work. This works great. Eighteen minutes. Yeah, I'm officially out of water again. Kind of saw that coming. Oh, nice. I think the blizzard just died down which means it might be a good time for me to go and... Yeah, you know what? I do need to make a decision about what I'm dropping here, because I'm carrying way too much stuff. Um, the is setting. Be a lot colder soon. Yes, it will. I do have my bedroll. Perfect. I do have some reading that I need to do by this fire, and so maybe it would be a good idea to go ahead and read the last four hours of this. That's going to be more carcass harvesting experience. And now we can drop that. Now we have this fire starting book as well. Nice. Level 4 carcass harvesting. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Yeah. <laughs> this is way too much crap. Way too much crap. Go ahead and drop these. I know, I'm dropping matches. It's weird. It's real weird. Okay, I do want to go ahead and I'll tell you what. Here's an idea. If I'm going to be going out at night, let's transfer all of those out. And heat these up. Okay. Now, I, I don't want to actually put the cold coffee in the insulated flask. I can do that, and it would heat it, but the other ones would actually lose heat for that reason. I want to make this thing as hot as I possibly can by heating up all the coffee. Nice. And what I'll do here is just drink that for the extra energy. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. We'll leave that there. Now, I do need the extra bit of heat. Let's see. Okay, weather actually looks decent. That is a crappy torch. This fire can do better than that. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. You can also do better than that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I could have just used the torch that I found. That works too. But that's a 100% torch. It's the principle of the thing. You need to get the fire to give you at least one good torch. Especially when you ask nicely. Which, jury's out on whether I asked ni nicely there, but no. Let's uh, head out. And we will have to do, like I said, a bit of inventory management at the base of this climb. I don't think there are any predators out here. Although I could be wrong. Visibility's decent, so hopefully I'll be able to spot them.
Perfect. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna kinda hug this wall. And I promise not to go the wrong way this time. <laughs> oh man. Ironically, this is an important step, both for remembering the route to the upper Ash Canyon entrance, but it's also a step for remembering just the way to the top of Timberwolf Mountain. And it's definitely a waypoint that I thought I knew better. All right, looks like we're going to get that 100% torch anyway. I didn't really need to get rid of that yet, but... Nice and bright. So I can use the coffee that I've got on me. In order to keep my energy up during this coming double climb. That's one of the reasons I wanted to cook. Or at least heat that coffee. Oh, some ptarmigan nearby. Nice. We're not going to... We're not going to kill the ptarmigan. We'll wait to do that. I'd rather get to Ash Canyon. Besides, as I mentioned, there will be ptarmigan at the uh, mine. And I've got some feathers, just not all the feathers I need to repair the bedroll. So I just need a few more. Okay, I can see the rope, just barely. Weather's not too bad right now, I have to say. Ash Canyon could be interesting, I suppose. But right now, the weather's not too bad. Now, honestly, there's a good chance <laughs> I don't really need to make two trips up this rope. And the more I look at the length of this rope, the more I'm not sure that I want to go all the way up and down it twice and waste that coffee. So there's a part of me that's thinking maybe we just leave some food at the base of this rope and come back for it later. Like, we can come down from... The only thing is that yeah, <laughs> now that I think about it. No, this will work. This will work because I still need to get up to the top of of uh, Timberwolf Mountain. So what I was thinking is, like, if I leave Ash Canyon from the bottom portion of Ash Canyon, then I won't necessarily, you know, get back to the same spot in order to pick the stuff back up. But that's not true. eating as many of those as I can. Okay. Lots of coffee. Now let's go ahead and drop that. Drop all of these. Drop all of those. Even got some MREs here, which... Those are partial MREs, but I'm going to drop them anyway. I still have the extra hacksaw. My bad. <laughs> I even thought about that in between episodes. Like, oh yeah, I'm still carrying an extra hacksaw. I should drop that at some point. Looks like I had an extra 100% condition torch too. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. So I could leave the Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop everything I need for gunsmithing. 
I'm gonna drop the gunpowder. We'll leave it all here. Because I don't need it. I can even drop... Well, I don't want to drop the shell casings, because those would be a pain to pick up, and they might not all be reachable. Alright, so now we're a lot better. I might still have to make two trips, though. Because I'm looking at this like... I don't know if I can find... Anything else really disposable apart from the lantern fuel, ironically. I could drop that, and now I just have to drop less than 10 pounds of stuff. Okay, yeah, I think I can manage this. So hang on, what are we looking at? Just eat everything I can. I don't think that's even going to be all the crackers. It's not. Let's drink that. I can drop that can. Don't need it for now. I can drop that sewing kit. I mean, I don't really need the this book at the moment. I can come back for that later. Yeah, the cattails are the last real problem at the moment. Yeah, I can leave those here too. It's weird to drop that many cattails, but I just, I don't need them. Okay, there's flare shells, there's the hacksaw, lots of revolver ammo. And... This is looking like a two-trip situation. It just is. It just is. How's my rest? Yeah, I can make the first trip, but then I'm going to need to drink lots of coffee. So let's just go ahead and do this. We're going to drop the rifle down here in order to make the climb. It's not as big of a climb as it looks. But it does, I mean, it did just take like a quarter of my energy. That's worth noting. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a couple of coffees. This is going to come in handy for more than one reason, by the way, because we have so hypothermia cold. risk now. I just want to lay down for a bit. Too full to eat. Yeah, see, now unfortunately I can only drink one of those coffees, so I might even, I don't want to use a stem. Here's what I'll do. We can do this in... St we can kind of stage this. I'm going to sneak around this way. Perfect. This is the exit cave. Let's go ahead and step in here. Now we can drop the hatchet, the miner's flashlights, pots, the hacksaw, pry bar, toolkit. Uh, Storm lantern I'll keep because I might use that to light my way back. Can drop that torch. I'll keep the other one. Because that's the last climb we're going to do in a while, I think. Maybe. Alright, so now what that should have allowed me to do... You know what? Yeah. Let's go ahead and just put this down. And we're going to sleep for six hours. Probably the best thing to do anyway, because now the sun's rising. Let's go ahead and pick that back up. Now I can definitely finish those crackers. I'm going to go ahead and eat this canned corn. I, there's a part of me that's trying to save some of the canned corn for recipes. <laughs> but at this point, it's 
probably good to eat. I want to save one of them. At the very least. Okay. Let's head back the other direction. Hopefully the weather's not too terrible. Nice. Okay. I'm going to hug this wall. Because I know that... I left my rifle at the base of the cliff. Uh, I'd hate to be caught without it right now. Thankfully, the climb down will not be as perilous. And honestly, it's not as long of a climb as I remembered. As soon as I started up the rope, I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so there's that extra hacksaw. Let's grab the hunting rifle. So I could bring that book with me. Sewing kit. Cattail stalks, yes. This is my food. Let's go ahead and grab these. Because I really don't have anything else. Apart from the one food item I dropped somewhere in here. Oh, yeah, sorry, lots of food items because there's the... So I was thinking of the um, granola bar that I had, but I also had all this that I got from the container, which is nice. Yeah, I could bring a little bit more of this. Got the water and the airline food. Oh, wow. Apparently, I can still grab more. That's surprising. All right, so I'll have to come back for that stuff later, but that's fine. Wow, got all of it. How about that? Wasn't expecting that. But now we can just head straight into Ash Canyon. And hopefully find our way pretty quickly. And not get stomped by a moose. Okay. That's going to be the main objective. Let's not get stomped by a moose. That would be suboptimal. To put it as mildly as possible. We know this from experience. And it's an experience we would not like to repeat. Okay. Picked all that back up. Make sure I didn't grab the second hacksaw again by mistake. No, I did not. Let's go ahead and harvest this stick. And I will keep this lantern out because I want to be able to spot things in this cave as I move through it. But now let us make our way into the Canyon of Ash. So we've got some wood in here. There's still the possibility of like a nice loot item if I look carefully. Okay. So there's an extra route there that I could take. It might loot back around somewhere. I think there's... Oh, wow. This is a dead end. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not an extra route. It's the route. The literal route. Have we here? Yeah, here we go. I'm trying to remember the cave that has the. I don't think it's this one. Ooh. I need to get over there. 
that wasn't what I was about to reference. What I was about to reference is that there's a cave with a, like a low kind of overhang, like it, like a little hole you have to duck through. And I'm trying to remember where that cave is. Because I don't think it's this one. And I think that cave's in Hush River Valley. So this is, <laughs> this is one of the side effects of the game world of the Long Dark being as massive as it is now. Is that there's just there are so many caves and it's like wait which which zone is that cave in all right so there's something potentially very exciting here maybe it would be great if it was here it does not appear to be though okay we've got some more revolver ammo thanks game appreciate that more condensed milk revolver shell casing And somebody made their last stand here. Man. Not that many variants spawning <laughs> so far. This is one of the spawn... Maybe I'm thinking of the old loot tables. There I go again. Thinking of the old loot tables as like... The place where things will definitely be. Alright, there's a revolver. Best be prepared for anything. I can potentially unload that. So this is, I'm guessing, the survivor that... ...perished in said last stand. The wolf and the survivor are both dead. That's sad. Rest in peace. Interesting. This almost looks like a path. See this? Like... Like, you're meant to go up here, and then they didn't end up doing anything with it. That's interesting. Okay, let's go back this way. I'm sad that variant is not here. I got so excited. You heard me when I saw that particular opening. I recognized that, but there are just so many... There's so much variety to the caves now in the long dark spread out across the world that the one that I'm thinking of, which one is it? Is it in Blackrock? No, I haven't been to Blackrock enough to remember this cave as specifically as I'm remembering it. Bleak Inlet, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it is this cave. And I'm about to find out. That would be hilarious. All right, so there's the exit. Hang on, we're going to go back this way just to be sure that I've explored this other direction that I could have gone here. Because there was a left and a right. This way is right. This way is left. Nope, just a dead end. Great. <laughs> Great. All right, so we're going to get some sleep before we leave here. It's the beginning of the day. So it'll be towards the end of the day, which will be kind of ideal because we'll be emerging into Ash Canyon, assuming the weather's decent, which it probably won't be. But we emer we'll be emerging into Ash Canyon at a warmer point in the day. Oh, wait, no. I didn't mean to do that. I just want to put the bedroll down. Okay, so now... Yeah, I'm not that encumbered, all considered, which is nice. Let's go ahead and sleep for four hours or so. Recover some much-needed condition. I'm going to eat this ruined condensed milk. <laughs> uh, that makes up for the condensed milk that... Um, some commenters were sad I lost. Okay. Cool. And now to see if I truly remember my way around this zone. <laughs> Welcome to Ash Canyon. All right, we're going to hang a left. And we're going to pray. Cross every finger, every toe. 
All right, so I see some carrion crows circling there, but I'm going to keep going this way. Oh, wow. This already doesn't look like what I remember, and I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you for that game. I appreciate that so much. That's what I needed, is is the ominous music to make me doubt myself even more. Okay. Pillar's footrest. This does not look like what I remember. And I'm freaking out. Um, what is this? I see this high point up here. I'm just going to trust that I'm, that I'm going the right way. And by the way, we're going to stop the episode here. <laughs> this is what I get for getting into a rhythm with my recordings now that the new computer's been up and running for a while. I just ran out of space at the end of this recording and had to add this audio later on account of that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day for Wednesday, and comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.